Hola, ¿qué tal mi gente linda de Las Vegas? Estamos aquí enfrente de esta hermosa casa en Desert Shore que duró solamente cuatro días en el mercado y aparte esta familia que va a estar vendiendo esta casa para poderse ir a explorar otras tierras también necesitaba un mes de leaseback y bueno, eso y otras cosas pudimos hacer por estos clientes. Iliana por Puerto Rico habla un poquito español, Jeff no habla nada español, así que we're going to be doing Spanglish here. Vamos a hablar un poco de Spanglish. O sea, una thank you guys so much for trust uh, Juan Carlos Carrera team uh, in selling uh, you guys property. So you guys uh, live in US, right? Uh, you need somebody to trust to sell the house. How many days last the property on the market? It was four days. I would take four days, yeah. Do you guys expect it to be that fast? No. No. So even you guys know me, we, we, we are close. More people on my team was working uh, close to you guys. How do you felt like it was, you know, the teamwork in order to, to sell the house? Well, Vamos a aprovechar que ella sí habla español, para no tener que hacer translate. Fue tremendo. Desde que pusimos en, en contrato y todo, rapidito y muy profesional y... Encantado. Todas las cosas que ellos requirieron pudimos ayudarle con personas que, que pudieron venir a, 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 ver la casa. a ver la casa. Todo fue tan fácil. No hubo problemas de ninguna clase. So, also you guys need to go on vacation while you guys selling the house. And if that was an issue at all? No issue. No, no issue. No, no issue. So, no. You, you even sold your house and went to vacation? Yes. And that, that was cool. Also, do you guys... Uh, need to move from out of the country so you need more time to pack everything yes also because you have a lot of stuff yes and you don't know where, what to do with those so it was good that negotiate so, so yeah we did yeah negotiate like one more one month more tenemos tantas cosas que queríamos tener mucho más tiempo para empaquetar y todas esas cosas y eh, fue muy fácil el proceso sí fue no pensaste que era tan rápido verdad sí no eh, en la preocupación cuando se sentaron por primera vez conmigo estuve en la mesa eh, una de las preocupaciones más grandes era que, que ustedes tenían que hice que también tenía unas vacaciones planificadas uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. y bueno había muchos papeleos que tienen que firmar sí ¿verdad? sí sentiste que eso fue alguna traba y... eso fue tan fácil y tan smooth cómo se dice sí. smooth Sabes, sí, no, no hubo, no hubo problema. problemas de ninguna clase. Sí. ¿Y sentiste que siempre se te estuvo negociando a tu favor? Sí, el equipo de ustedes es bien bueno. Gracias. Pedro, yeah, he was really good. Good, right? uh -huh. ¿De dónde eres, Irena? Soy de Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Jeff, where are you from? California. California? No. You born in California? Born in California. But he also was a uh, airplane traffic, how do you call that position? Yeah. Air traffic controller. Air traffic controller. Para que ustedes tengan una idea de lo que hacía Jeff, you was the guy to say all the pain, hey, you go this, you go this way, right? you just hold there, wait one minute. Is that fun? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, it was a good career. And especially in Los Angeles, when there's 50 planes. La one minute? Yeah. Oh, more than, more than one a minute. Yeah. Oh my the, God. Yeah. Also, you just not work here in on US but you also you were on LA where 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 here in US you work well i also worked in uh, australia and hong kong and uh, in um, california so I, i worked with overseas and in the united states how long do you stay on australia we were there for oh. 13 years five years in hong kong and the rest of the time in the united states the united states yes Wow. How many people are on the plane? Like Depends. I mean, sometimes 100, sometimes 400. You know, it depends on the, the size of the airplane. Mm -hmm. Some big, some small. So. Has you ever got a scare? Like anything happened you want to share? <laughs> there, there were there were some scary times. I'm, uh, with, with, sometimes with bad weather. You know, the, the air, aircraft, are, they have a uh, hurricane or, or thunderstorm and then the aircraft have to go this way everywhere. And one one time, one day in Hong Kong was like a, it gave me a lot of headaches because uh, it was, the weather was so bad and we had so many airplanes and they were diverting and going around the thunderstorms. And it was a long, very uh, hard day. Stressful. Yeah, because you know, you, you know that in Johan is the life of many people, right? Yeah. I guess uh, it's a stressful position, but did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it because it was rewarding and it uh, it, it challenged me to to uh, to, uh, to do the job. Not everybody can do it. So, exactly. no, I guess 
Is that like a hard to apply? Do you have to learn how to fly a plane more than to you, me? You don't have to learn how to fly an aircraft. At, uh, I started it in, in the military. I was a I was an air traffic controller on an aircraft carrier out of, uh, in the ocean, yeah. and that was that was difficult because the, the ship was always changing course, and uh, so that was interesting. And then I became a air traffic controller here for a civilian, and then I went overseas, and then, then came back and. And I ended up uh, working in Washington D.C. at the headquarters, helping people to change the uh, procedures and documents and things like that. That's how I finished. So, uh, to me, you thank you for sharing, you know, those story because not everyone have met somebody that that, that position. I guess that this is like not many people are in that position. I guess in all the country, right? It's like not that many airport or not that many people controlling planes around. It work. Yeah, answering your question before, a lot of people don't pass the training. Oh, really? Yeah. At least half of people uh, don't pass the training. You have to go to uh, the FA uh, Academy School in o in Oklahoma City. And that's where they have a big training school, and you have to pass all the tests and all the simulators, and and, and then after that, you have to then go out to the wherever you're assigned, whether it be Los Angeles or New York. Then you have to be on the job training, and you have to be able to. To do the job, and that takes, you know, several years to complete. How many hours can you be on that seat there? Because I guess that because this is stressful position, maybe you have to like a lot of break or something like that. Maximum two hours. Maximum two hours. Oh, you know, and the reason that I ask because I remember I was a dealer uh, because we were playing with money all the time. You know, we take break every one hour or, or so. And then I guess that because your position is kind of like you, you need to, your brain need to be stressed a little bit, then two hours, two hours. Maximum two hours, then break. Yeah. How long do you take break? 20, 30 minutes. Iana, cuéntame. I, I know that you guys married for like 47 years. They will say, Can't you tell? You see how tired I am. <laughs> <laughs> Who had the medal? You got the medal, he got the medal. Who got it? <laughs> okay, 47. So you guys got married before. You were yeah, born? I was born. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So you guys, you guys go to Australia now? Yeah. We, we lived there for 13 years, a long time ago. And, and we're dual citizens because of that. It's a beautiful place. Have you been to Australia? No, I haven't. Oh, but I hope that I know. You need, yes, that you will come to Australia. To visit you guys. <laughs> it's a beautiful place. So this is funny because you speak Spanish, Jeff. He knows how to say cerveza. Cerveza, por favor. <laughs> That's all he knows. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much uh, for you know sharing all that story. I don't know if you anybody that want to sell or buy a home here in Las Vegas. Or would you recommend one? Absolutely. Oh yes. Absolutely. Yes. You and your team very professional. Yeah, very professional, friendly, uh, really heads up. You know, because a lot of times we find that. We deal with other businesses and we have to kind of explain things two or three times type of thing. And your people are right on the money. It's not the first time that you guys sell a house, right? Oh God, no. We've moved many, many times. Not just locally, but international. international. Your team was wonderful. Very easy to work with. Very knowledgeable. Well, thank you so much, guys, for sharing all, all those comments. Thank you for that. Thank you for the trust. I want to say thank you, God, uh, for, for, you know, putting me another family here uh, to trust our team and, you know, making a uh, dream coming true. Like, you guys' dream will be going to Australia. And you guys being only like four years in this property and you made some money in there, right? Some money, yeah. We had to put some money into it yeah, to make it better. Exactly. But. Yeah, we, yeah. So, but it's always a good idea to buy a home because, you know, it's the best place where you put oh, yeah. in and then it grows. Oh, yeah. So you didn't lose. Yeah. But well, we're going to buy a, another place in Australia too. So. Yeah. What you guys can do every time that you buy a home, instead of paying home, paying rent, they want to know how Vegas works. So they stay here for a little bit. They put some money from the other property here. And now they go to Australia and doing the same operation. That's right. You never lose money because even if you have to pay realtors and all that, but it's, you know, the market is growing mm -hmm. and it gives you the opportunity to also make some money while you're doing that. Right. So, so ahora vamos a estar pasando al corte de la venta de la casa de Jeff y Liana. Uno, dos, tres.
para arriba, para abajo, para el centro, para adentro. <risa> ¿Recomiendan o no el equipo de Juan Carlos Carrera para vender o comprar una casa? Sí, 100%. <risa> okay. Si buscas una casa, compra. Su equipo siempre te va a ayudar. Si buscas una casa, vender. Un servicio vas a tener. El equipo de Juan Carlos Carrera. americano. Bueno, ¿qué le pareció esa entrega de llave con estos clientes? La verdad que yo me emocioné mucho. Gracias a Diosito y a esos clientes por darme la bendición de poderlos haber ayudado en la compra de la casa. Bueno, así que si usted está queriendo vender o comprar una casa, la consulta es completamente gratis. Lo único que tiene que hacer es llamar al número que está en pantalla y con mucho gusto mi equipo y yo le vamos a estar pudiendo ayudar. Bueno, ¿qué espera? Llámanos para que sea usted la próxima persona que va a estar en esta parte del video ayudándolo a comprar o vender una casa. Nos vemos hasta que llegue ese video. Chao.